Although the worst of the flooding and storm damage was north of San Antonio, there was destruction all over the city. Courtney Friedman headed a couple of places that needed some major cleanup today. The owner of the Brass Monkey Bar on North St. Mary Street downtown had a couple of very unwelcomed guests last night. Strong winds and rain brought down the giant tree on the side of his building right onto three cars, one of which, we're told, is his. You don't know what Mother Nature is capable of. Ralph Christ lives right across the street in a house he's been in since the 60s and says this storm is one for the record books. Because that tree has weathered everything except last night. He was up all night dealing with a power outage that affected his whole street. Meanwhile, on the city's west side, the storm beat down on some local schools. Take a look at this playground equipment at Jose Angel Cardenas Early Childhood Education Center, uprooted and blown over. The wind just came and tore everything down in storms. Next door is Holy Cross High School's track and field. 1987 graduate Umberto Garza was supposed to go to an alumni soccer tournament there today. We have it every Memorial Day weekend, and the storms last night just wreaked, wreaked havoc, havoc on us. Tents and canopies tossed about the flooded field, meaning no soccer and lots of cleanup. But in the battle against Mother Nature, man had one victory. And even with the inches of rain we got downtown last night, the river walk did not flood at all. And that's because there's a system in place that works. There are floodgates that open up, letting the water run through so that the river walk itself stays dry. Just one part of town that doesn't require cleanup. Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News.